two. <laughs>the internet staff right here back into voice of cards isle of dragons i think it's you know the, this game and yeah now we're supposed to be traveling to thurston which i believe they said was this way northwest an enemy appears we're gonna stick to the path like they said okay we got these yep i know about gems yes thank you Yes, icon indicates, thank you. Yep, and then square button, and L or R1 for whatever I want to use. Okay. Um, are they weak against, are these weak against fire? I think they were. Yep, yep. No, they're weak against wind, weren't they? Yep, 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 yep. Okay, yes. There, let's take care of this one. Oh, that was pathetic. Man, after playing the devil, then you got this party and you're like, oh. Ow. Ram. Let's do this one. And I still don't know how attack and defense like correlate with one another. Cause you know, it says he's got attack 11, but does he, does that mean like his base attack? It doesn't, damage doesn't seem to be 11. Like there she did five, I don't know. I don't know how it all correlates. Yep. And we'll just... Yep. Yep. View my cards. No, I don't need to view them. Thank you. I get it. I know how to do it. Thank you. Whoops. Enemy appears! Oh no! See where the path takes us. I suppose I could just try to cut through the fort. Oh, there's no roof balls. Poor little froof balls. I bet they're weak against fire. I should have done that. I bet their fur starts on fire. It's probably a terrible thing. Okay. Oh, he does a lot of damage. Done. Yep, victory! Hooray! Ash leveled up. Oh, yay! He got a heal spell. Melanie leveled up. What if I did? What if I just started cross, like going cross country here? Do we care? Oh no, I suppose it's probably. Hello. This way to Thraston. Oh, see, there we go. Oh, an event! Lying in the grass, you find an old telescope. You figure a look at the path ahead can't hurt. Pick it up. Oh! Peering through the lens, you see something in the distance, but you can't tell exactly. It what looks like a sword. All you know is there's something up ahead. You should be able to tell for certain what it is if you get closer. What will I do? I'm gonna inch closer. You leave the janky telescope where you found it and make your way cautiously toward what you saw. Oh! Yeah. Well, look at that. Looks like it was only an old woman. And it was she her knife. Ha, huh, nice. She wanders off without even registering your presence. Oh, well, okay then. Yeah, see, it was just a, it was a thing. Oh, another event! Oh, another telescope, huh? It's a merchant. No, it's a goblin kid. I'm pretty sure it's a goblin kid. Drawing upon your courage, you toss the janky telescope aside. Oh, well, it's a goblin. Proximity, a pair of eyes jerk up, startled to meet yours. They belong to a monster. It falls over in its shock, then scrambles up and flees in terror, leaving behind some coins. Nice! 250 gold, nice! Just for startling a monster. 
I will take it. You oh. Take a rock down the road, muttering about what jerks those three from the Ivory Order are. Cut it out, chides Melanie. She warns you your anger will only come back to bite you in the rear. Indeed. <laughs> you grumble. Oh! But your sulking is cut short when out of the thicket leaps a monster. The rock you kicked must have hit it because it is really <laughs> Oh. Brace yourself. Nice. <laughs> All right, well, let's start with the fire. We'll see. Maybe I can trip a weakness. Nope, not weak against fire. Well, let's just get some damage here. It's not a lot, but it's something. Ow. Oh, okay. It's only three. Again, yeah, might as well use it. I don't know what's doing. I'm assuming as a mage, she's probably going to do more damage with fire, but... Ta-da! We've done it! Mar leveled up! Hooray! Deal damage equal to... A oh, two rolled dice. I wish I'd tell you what kind of dice, because now that I've been playing this, you know, I played the demo for a little bit, they showed... Not only a d6, but also a d8. So, you know, that's a thing. You really should know the difference. Visit the good doctor in Thriston. Look at you, there are all sorts of establishments in the town to support you on your adventure. Would you care to have them explain? No, I'm pretty sure I got it. Establishments are here to help you. Don't be a stranger. Okay. Um, let's stop at the item shop real quick. Okay, nothing really there. <laughs> well, if it isn't the head of the National Inn Association's son, the innkeeper blurts out, overcome with surprise. Really? <laughs> You've clearly been mistaken for someone else, but the innkeeper looks so excited that you dare not burst or bubble. Your room is free. Sure, I'll take it. <laughs> Can't imagine that's gonna keep working. I suppose I'm gonna have to pay at some point. Nice. It seems the sound of a flute could once often be heard coming from the doctor's house. His neighbors complained about the noise though, and all has been quiet since. Darn neighbors. Can't even appreciate a good flute. The man says you'll need a torch to explore caves. And, he adds, it just so happens you can buy them at the item shop. You get the feeling he probably works for said shop. Sure, yep. And I suppose since he said that, I probably should take that into account. Heck, I got that gold, so why not? Yes. I might have needed more, um, yeah, let's buy one more. Let's buy one more. I should have just bought two right away, but it's fine. I said, we got that money from that goblin or whatever we scared off, so. Okay, let's come up to this card. Scrub, scrub, scrub. He's bathing! What the heck? In the middle of the street? The man scours his skin with a washcloth, trying to rid himself of all odor. Apparently, he blames his natural musk for his unlucky love life. <laughs> you catch a whiff of scent wafting off him. It is rather pungent. <laughs> An idea strikes you. Maybe getting rid of the toxins within the body would get rid of the odor without, too. Test your theory by giving the man an antidote. I don't have an antidote. You fish around in your bag, but can't seem to find an antidote. Okay, anymore. back to the item shop. That's what I get for being a cheap cheapskate. Okay. 
Okay, I'll buy three. Never know when they're gonna come in handy. If I can even still do this, it might even be a waste. I might be wasting my time. All right, come all the way back. Eh. Okay, I'll come back up here to the bathing man. Yes, I'll give him an antidote. An antidote and he chugs it down. As soon as he's finished, the odor completely disappears. You welcome. Overjoyed, the man resolves to tell the person he likes how he feels. From his breast pocket, the man pulls out something to give you in thanks. Money? Is it money? Oh, it's another mysterious card. Sweet. Scrub, scrub. Oh, can't, can't jump in the well. I suppose there's an apothecary right here, isn't it? They probably had antidotes too. I didn't have to drive all the way back the next night. I could have just stayed here and thrice it in such a silly head. Okay. The Ivory Order is searching for where they're stashing the stolen goods. The woman tells you a monster stole something very valuable from her. If only someone could I get I wonder it what my next quest me, will be. She sighs. What did it steal, you ask? Medicine, says the woman, to give my skin a lustrous glow. Yeah, there's a pothecary right here. Antidotes. All right, it's fine. It's fine. No big deal. Okay, let's go to the armorer. Let's see if he's got any gear for me. Ooh. New sword. A new staff. A new robe. Okay, let's buy and equip that. Okay, Melanie is all set. Oh, and I have just enough money to buy him a new sword. Ash is all set. Okay, and I don't think anything at all. I could have got her a new staff too that would have raised her attack and defense. It's okay though. That's okay. It's a good start. If I gotta go farm, I guess I'll go farm money. It's not a big deal. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, hello. A woman who fashions herself a missionary of love haughtily cries she's too beautiful and popular for Oh, her own no, good. the poor woman. What a terrible curse she must have. Uh, let's go to the game parlor. This is the game parlor. Yep. Come play cards. Let's play. I'll play. A, we'll play a calls. quick match. Yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. No, I know how to play. Thank you. Select the rules for the game. That's yeah, simple. That's all we got right now. Simple. Yep. Yep. We can begin. Sounds good to me. I know there's a multiplayer mode for this too, where you can play the games, but I don't have PlayStation Online, so I can't play. <sighs> if only it were on the PC where I didn't have to pay an additional price to play with my friends. Just saying is all. Oh, wow, he's starting with an eight. I'm starting with a two, icky. Well, this can turn around. We'll see what we get. Oh, wow. I got nothing.
Oh, I wish I could. Oh, I couldn't have kept the four. Of course, now if he gets a three. Yep. Now if he gets a three, he gets a run. Sugar balls. Although it would have happened too had I. I think no matter what I would have dropped, I would have been screwed. Unless I get a five here. Yes. Yeah, I think I'll do that. <laughs> They're even the same suit. Oh, there he's got a pair of eights. And if he drops a five, doesn't do me good right now. Yeah, well, we'll see what it comes. There's still two more eights in there. There's still two more fives. I could just as easily get fours. No, I can make a pair of threes, I guess. Better than knocked right now. No, oh, he's got nothing. Okay, so if he drops... Okay, I was gonna say, if he drops the five and the six... I, ooh, and I have the four! Nice! Four, five, six! That's, that's good enough. Well, heck yes, I will use that as a set. I'll drop the ace. What do I care? I suppose he could draw two, but we he? <laughs> he did not. Okay, so if he drops... Okay, yep. So if I get a four, I'll be sitting nice. But there's only one four left, isn't there? No. Oh, so I gotta make a pair of twos. Yeah, I don't have a choice. I'm gonna have to use that to replace my pair of threes. All right. Ah, dang it. Yep, there's the four. Although he's gonna have, no, he doesn't have to discard the eight. Crap. If I get a seven though, that would be super nice. That's super nice. <laughs> Yes, I want that. Thank you. Okay, and then I can dump this. Yeah, so that's all the eights. So what do we got left? Oh, so he can make a pair of aces. He's gonna have to dump something. He's gonna dump the two. Why didn't he dump the two, three, four? Why the pair of eights? Because that would have been seven, eight, nine. He dumped. I. He dumped nine for. S I'm confused. All right. Oh no! I don't have a set. Oh, what will I do? Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna get last turn. Oh, he can make a pair of sevens. I don't think that's gonna be enough though. Especially he's gonna have to drop the aces. Yeah, so I've got this one. Yeah, I can do four, five, six. Yeah, yeah we gotta do that. And I think I already have a four, five, six, so I'm not losing anything. Yeah. Oh, and I gotta make sure I pay attention too because it looks like I can dump what I just picked up. I have to make sure I pay attention to that. Yay, what do I get? Give me stuff. Good job. The boy praises you. What do I get? What do I get? <gasps> I got dice! Oh, no fun. Now I can do skills. Yeah, multiplayer game. 
shiny numbered rocks go clacky clack. All right, anyway, hey, did I talk to this guard? Oh yeah, that's right, he was talking about the muggings. All right, now we'll go see the doctor. Sai pry and ombre, uh, I'm sorry. Cyprian <laughs> Amber has lived here for many years. Nice. Conducting research Because I'm like, yeah, that's monsters. quite the name. All the townsfolk affectionately call him Cypri. Good. <laughs> if Cipri. anyone knows anything about the dragon, it's him. He's a veritable monster expert. Ask Cypri about the dragon. Well, yeah. You why we came Cipri all this way. If he knows anything about the dragon. He says he'll tell you if you do him a favor. <sighs> All right, what do you the want? Monsters stole a precious treasure from him. If you reclaim the treasure, Cipri promises to tell you all he knows about the dragon. Yeah, I kind of figured that that was going to be the case anyway. The treasure thieving monster makes its hideout in the western cave. That's where you'll want to head. Okay. Yep. I mean, we knew that's where we were headed next. I mean, come on. Yeah, we will leave. Okay, so westward then. Mm. Eh. Cave in the west, huh? Oops, no, I didn't want to. Oh, here we go. The Western Cave! I used to be level 3 before entering. No, that's right. We were going to farm a little bit because we need some money. So why don't we do that? Um, okay, let's... There we go. See if we can farm some money. And get some more gear. And I don't think we're quite level 3 yet. We might be. Nice work. Sheesh! Yay! Okay, yep. Ooh, 12 gold. It'll take a long time if we want some serious dosh. Now yeah, let's look. Hello? Find the grass, you find a telescope, can't hurt to look. Oh, it's another one of those. rush it because it's one of them goblins yep falls over shock 250 gold nice and nice oh I guess we're not going there on water. I can't cool oh, chest 500 gold sweet Whoops, I did not want to go there. Oh, another enemy appears. Let's see, we'll get everything up to snuff before we go exploring in the cave. But it's a good thing we have torches and stuff. Dang it. An event! Telescope. Oh, it's a slime. Something that says you can't tell what it is. You don't know what it is, you know, blah, 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 blah. I'll rush up to it! Looks like a monster, but it's not moving like any monster you've ever seen. The sight of you startles it away. I guess I should have snicked. Oh well. Hey, another chest. Hey, revive. Nice, nice. Alright, well, let's see here. And just explore a little bit. Event! Telescope. Oh, it's the Lady Knife again. Mm 
we'll go around. It's best not to go looking for trouble. You decide to detour. It was a woman. I mean, I suppose it could have been like she could have had a reward or something. Oh, another event. Oh, hello. Across two men sitting on a rock. They take no notice of you or the party, but you can hear their fervent discussion. You listen in and deduce that they are a pair of thieves. You lean in, trying to hear what else the thieves are talking about. You catch pieces of the conversation here and there. I, I hid the goods. Head south just before the bridge. No, no. Whatever ye do, don't go into the bewildering wood. It sounds like they've just told you where to find their stolen loot. You hastily grab a scrap of paper, write down what you've heard, and quietly sneak away. Bridge, huh? View the hint about the treasure at any time by selecting it from the key items. Head south just before the ridge. No, don't go to the bewildering woods. South, huh? Oh, enemy appears. And fight. Froth balls. Yeah, I kind of thought they might be weak against fire. Another, I didn't even move. Pick up a scrap of paper dropped by some manner of monster. It has a message scrawled on it in crude lettering. Erosurat Nilots DNA Vact Sap. Past, past cave and mountain near, near fountain. Oh, stolen treasure past cave and mountain near fountain. Oh. Clearly, whoever dropped this message did not want you stash the scrap of paper in your pack mm -hmm. and resolve to keep an eye out for the treasure on your travels. Yeah, key items. Stolen treasure cave and mountain past near fountain. Near fountain past cave and mountain stolen treasure. Okay, so I gotta find a fountain and a bridge. Oh, an enemy appears. So it's south, but he didn't want to go into the woods. So I'm assuming the woods are past the bridge. Okay, so then... You've fulfilled the necessary requirements and unlocked goblins enemies so are you fulfilling and unlock fur balls. Okay. Another event. Something's catching the sunlight just so. You move closer to get a better look at it. You find hey. a chest. Something about this feels familiar. You fish a note out of your pack. Sure enough, this is the location those thieves mentioned when you were eavesdropping. Hooray! I'm convinced you found their stash. You open the chest with a self-satisfied They smoke. stole it anyway. So Ooh, a steel breastplate. Nice. Okay, so then hmm, Let's pull back up here real quick. Hey, another chest. Treasure chest found. 400 gold. Awesome. I'm going to be able to do all sorts of shopping. Actually, let's do that. Um, here, let's do this. We're gonna just move it here. Okay, back into Thracen. We'll get our gear, and then the yeah, I don't know about the fountain in the cave. Is that what that spot was that I couldn't step on? Um, go to the inn here quick. And save. We gotta make sure we save. The innkeeper asks the moment you set foot in the inn. Okay, leave the area, yes. 
Although I will check too, they said the fountain and the cave. Um, so... Yeah, what was it? It was in the key items. Here we go, key items. Okay, so near fountain, past cave, and mountain treasure. Okay. Yeah, and the only fountain... Like, does this count as a fountain? Was this the treasure? Like, did I already loot it? Because I would think this would be the fountain. Mm, I don't know. Well, this is a cave, and it said it was near the cave. Whoops. Whoops, come on. There we go. Oh, enemy appears. I want to see if I can't find this fountain. Because that's the cave there, but I didn't see any fountain. Except for that one that's on the south end of the map. Okay, so let's... You fulfilled, okay, for a slime. I don't care. Event! You spy a rather large number of monster prints on the ground. A wry smile plays across your lips as you remove the scrap oh, of okay. paper from your pack. You pull from your pack the scrap of paper you picked up just north of Castle Advent. You feel around in the grass for a few moments before your a scrap of paper tells no lies. Ha <laughs> ha Greedily open the chest. Greedily! A thousand gold? Nice! Okay! Well, now that we got that all taken care of, we just bounce over the mountains and go to the cave. It's fine. It's fine. Light can't reach the furthest depths of the cave. It may be impossible to proceed without a torch. Good thing we bought some. Use a torch. Light the torch. It'll be much easier to explore now with your surroundings better illuminated. Imagine that. Search a western cave. Though the torch lights your immediate surroundings, you still cannot peer far into the distance. The ability to manipulate the camera has been restricted. Oh, well, that's fine. Enemy appears! Battle. Oh, here we go. And fight. It's a fungus guy! I bet he's weak against fire, too. Oh, yeah. Yep. Poor fungus guy. Didn't know what hit him. Not so fun anymore. Well, let's see. Oh, this is a big cave. Oh, enemy. And it's Don't hold oh. back. Oh. Um, okay. I still think these little guys are weak against wind. If I recall. Oh yeah, yep, they're weak against wind also. So they both were. And then we have a skeleton, and I don't I wonder though. Oh, I can't use it on the skeleton. Crap. Alright, fine. Skeleton, like another like Final Fantasy and stuff, if you use healing items on skeleton, then they die. Or if you use it on any undead. Can't cast spells on them. It's fine. It's always fine. Oh, a door. The door is shut. Upon closer examination of the door, you spot a cavity that looks like some sort of sphere should go there. Okay, well. Oh, a chest. Oh, Ebony's. 
So much for the chest. Here, let's get rid of this. I don't know which one is worse, the fungus or the... I imagine the fungus probably has poison. We definitely don't want poison, so... Although I do have antidotes, nice so it work. wouldn't be a big deal, you know, but... The music is so chill through it, too. It's like it doesn't change to any epic fight music or anything. It's just like, okay, you're in the cave. Hey, look, I can't, got a sphere. Which I imagine... Goes down here. Okay, yep. So I'm sorry. fit the magic sphere in the cavity. Yes. You put the magic sphere into the cavity and the door opens. Awesome. Hello. Hey, a chest. Another revive. Oh. Oh. Uh... Yeah, let's just continue into the cave. Yes. There's probably more on the first floor, but that's fine. Oh, an enemy appears. Random fights are random. Although maybe they're not random. Let's do this. Oh, one of them big guys. I wonder though, maybe skeletons might be weak against fire also. Let's try it. Okay, not necessarily weak, but um, I want to try... Let's put lightning on this guy. Excellent. Ooh, and I got a critical for that. Nice. Work. Not quite enough to take him down. Deal damage equal to the value of two rolled die. See, like this. Is it 2d6? Is it 2d8? Is it 2d20? Then you... I mean, just think of all the damage you could do. Ah, crap. Nah, not enough. Ow. Ooh, ow. She's gonna have to be healed. And why did that one just heal itself? Okay, well, we'll take care of this, the big guy. And unless she levels up, maybe she'll level up after this fight and then I won't have to worry about it. Because that was a big critter. No, she did not level up. So I'm going to have to heal her. Okay, never mind. I thought, because the other cards that gave you the option to inspect, so I thought, oh, maybe I can expect that. No. <laughs> Event! A claret trail leads you deeper into the cave. Was the walking wounded a monster or a human? A knot forms in your gut. You raise the torch to get a better look at your surroundings. The walls have been gouged and scarred as far as you can see. Mm. Another message comes into view, written in tiny letters among the scars. I will find you. And I will kill you. What oh, wait. transpired here. Yes, what horrors did transpire here? Let's find out. Let's just keep going. Enemy appears. Yay! Oh, nobody leveled up yet, huh? Okay. No, or child. Yeah, okay. This is kind of a narrow little path. I don't know that I like it. Event! You press on, deeper into the cave. Light floods into the chamber, illuminating a scene so startling, you nearly drop the torch altogether. Two mummified bodies oh. lie close beside one another, their hands clasped together. That doesn't seem them, good. A message written in blood. We leave together. Perhaps they were lovers? Whatever the case, you notice the bellwether nestled in their hands. Nice escape rope. You gently pry it free, bend a knee, and 
and say a small prayer for the dearly departed. Yay! Oh, is this just... Aw, oh, man. Looks like it's just a dead end. Poop. Alright. Oh, yeah, their melody leveled up. Alright, so yeah, this looks like it's just the dead end. Ah, there we go. Um, I should be able to get over... Nope, that's as far as I can go. All right, we'll go down this way. Something tells me I should have continued to the left, but yeah. Ooh. There, all healed. Plus side, it didn't do too much damage. So what is Ash? Is he a paladin? Cause yeah, so you have a paladin, a black mage, and, and the monster, I guess. Yay, red fungo, skull soldier. Okay. Oh, chest. You make to open the next Whoops. instant. Something leaps at you out Dang from it. the darkness. It was a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. Oh. Route the enemy. Route the enemy, huh? I wonder though. Come up like there was a status able and oh, I missed that. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Can I use it? Oh nope, I can't. I can't. I can't exploit that weakness. <laughs> Alright. One great! Oh, at least I got the critical. Not that it did a fat lot of good. Deal damage equal to well, deal damage to all enemies. Now we're just gonna do this. Miss! What? Regen? What? <sighs> oh, nice. Well, that's an extra four points. Nice work. I'll take it. Deal ten dark damage. Nice, nice. Yeah, I do this again, but uh, let's. What the heck? Four. Yeah, I'm better off just doing standard attack. Yeah, he just he just healed that right back. <laughs> There's another 10 dark. I guess I'm gonna have to heal him next, probably with Mar. I mean, I could just. Um... He's gonna get healed either way. Cool, I got a critical on that at least, though. So that works better. <sighs> Almost pert near. Deals dark damage to all enemies. Ouch. Yay, we did it! Yay, it was a fight for the ages. I mean, I don't know about that, but... The monster defeated... The would-be hero the and company. <laughs> oh, jeez. And see those ivory order jerks rooting through it. Really? You rush over, but you're too late to stop them. Sweet of you to take care of the monsters for us, trills Winifred, favoring you with a smile. Tugging the spoils from the chest safely into a bag, 
The Ivory Order trio stroll away whence they came. Oh man! You couldn't stop them if you tried. You could do nothing but stand slack jawed and watch them go. The chest Sad is empty, piece. save for a ragged doll. Nice of them to leave us the trash. You grumble in irritation. Somebody, somebody might have wanted the doll. Wasn't somebody back in the, the village? Doll. Filthy doll has said seem like they fall off at any moment. Your shoulders slump. All that effort, and this is all you get to show for it? You find nothing else even close to treasure. Hope Cipri is ready for bad news. Leave now would be the fastest way out. Do I want to keep exploring? I want to keep exploring. You decide to stay and explore the cave a little longer. Okay, so yeah, so we yeah we're gonna just explore for a little bit. I can't imagine there's much else here. Okay, well okay, so we're gonna go because yeah, there's this section over here. Hey, look, there's another treasure chest. A numbsly a protect against paralysis. Sure. That was kind of worth it. Oh yeah, see, look at this. Another treasure chest. 400 gold. We'll take it. See, that was worth it. Going the long way. It's cheap XP and gold. I mean, it is only the first dungeon after all. <laughs> oh, another treasure chest. Um, because I'm lost in here. An event! The ground tinkles beneath your feet. You look down to find it is littered with empty medicine bottles. Has someone been on a bit of a binge? A message is carved into the ground. Never forget. A bitter final missive from an adventurer done in by monsters, perhaps. Hmm. Weird. Okay. All right, now we should be heading out. <laughs> I think this is the way out. There. Look at that. Is my my hoodie's all weird? Okay. Anyway, um, let's go back here. Yep. We'll tell Cypern what happened. Although there was the woman. I did get that doll back. Wasn't there the one woman that's like, there was something precious stolen from me. Now that she's reunited with her stolen skin medicine, oh, that's right. the woman couldn't be happier. All thanks to the, the Ivy Order, the Ivy yeah. Order, she says. A huge smile on her face. She begins applying the medicine all over her skin. Yeah, a bunch of addicts they are. Apparently the woman is being harangued by some man who keeps asking her out. I don't know how many times I have to tell him he's just not my type, she sighs. Yeah, so sorry. Oh, yeah, need to explore. Yep, I got the torch. Was this woman in need of anything? Okay, yep, the flute. It's been quiet. Okay, and I just want to talk to everybody in town. The Ivory Order has heroically reclaimed <laughs> the stolen goods, he says. Chest puffed out in pride. Whatever. I just knew Winifred and her fellowship could do it. Tell them the truth, Ash. Come on. Not that they believe you, you, I able suppose. To find my treasure, I suppose he probably wants the doll. This is all we found, says Melanie, withdrawing the ragged doll. Cipri's eyes widen as soon as he sees the doll, and he reaches out to take it. Without breaking his gaze away from the doll, he begins to speak. 
Cipri tells you he gifted this doll to his young daughter a long time ago. But she fell gravely ill and died. Since then, Cipri has treasured this doll as he treasured his daughter. Then the monsters took it from him. Cipri turns to Melanie, his head bowed deeply in gratitude. So you reclaimed the treasure by complete accident. <laughs> you step closer well, to Cipri. I did have to actually fight that. What, no thank you? No, tell us about the drink. I'd be happy with coin. I still don't like any of these answers. Ash is such a jerk. Ugh. How are you going to thank us, you rudely inquire? Cipri gestures as if to say, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Far to the east of town is a place called Unionville, where monsters and humans live together in harmony. According to Cipri, you might be able to learn something there, as the dragon and monsters are not totally unrelated. Well, I mean, considering a dragon is pretty much a Upon really big monster. That, you turn on your heel to leave. Cipri calls out to stop you. Journeying to Unionville entails traversing the dense expanse of the bewildering wood. You'll need this, he says, and holds out something for you. <gasps> it's an ocarina! Play the spoon at a specific location in the Builder World Living Woods to see what happens. You won't make it through the bewildering wood without it, Cipri says. Your sights set on the distant Unionville, you resolve to navigate through the bewildering wood. Okay. And we will... Oh, hold on. Dr. Cipri's flip side story. Okay, then... We will go to the Bewildering Wood last time. We broached it a little bit because we were on that bridge with the thieves and stuff. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, ring that bell, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you all later. 